You need a planet that's around a star that's relatively stable, that has a long lifetime because that allows life to evolve. You also want a star that doesn't vary too much because if your star changes its brightness and its heat output radically over, say, a period of a few years or even centuries, that's not going to be very good for life. You also need a world, we think, with which is around a star with lots of what astronomers call metals in it. Now, metals in astronomy doesn't mean uh, things like, necessarily things like iron and so on. It means everything heavier than helium. Because if you have those, those so-called metals, you're probably more, uh, more able to form rocky planets. You also need that planet to be in orbit, probably anyway, around a star which is either single, or if it's a binary star, and these are very, very common in the universe, that those stars are either very close together, in which case a planet can have a stable orbit around them, or they're very far apart. Other factors include the famous Goldilocks zone idea. It has to be in the middle of what's called the habitable zone, and if the planet is outside of that, it means that it's either too cold for liquid water to form, or too hot, that it stays as uh, water vapor and steam. It also helps if the planet is the right size. If a planet is too big and then probably has too much mass, it will have a strong gravitational field. And that would mean it might end up, say, like Jupiter in our own solar system, with a very thick atmosphere, not much of a solid core, very hot in its interior. And conversely, if it's too small, then it probably can't hold on to that atmosphere. So if it's a very small world, say smaller than Mars, then that atmosphere would get stripped away very quickly. And another related factor, one that we benefit from on Earth, is that we have a magnetic field as well. The advantage of that is it protects us from some of the harsh radiation, both from the Sun and also from interstellar space. As well as having moderate seasons, because the planet is, has a, a moderate axial tilt like the Earth, so we don't get too many extremes in seasons, it would also be very, very important that the planet is not in what's called an eccentric orbit. Now, the orbit of the Earth around the Sun is roughly, not quite, but roughly a circle. If, however, you stretched it out too much, then again you would have the issue that sometimes the planet would be very, very cold if it was too far from its star, and potentially sometimes very hot.